the sediment cores we collect with different devices depending on what we're after. If we're after the surface, a very undisturbed surface sample, we take what's called a multi-core. That is a slightly different device where you have very short tubes instead that are more controlled, pushed into the seafloor, and you get maybe 50 centimeters or something uh, in eight different cores. And they're, they're so undisturbed that you actually preserve, in the best case scenario, you preserve the, sea, the surface of the seafloor. So if there's something lying on the ocean, for example, a sea star or something, sometimes we, it's that one, one can be unlucky and then <laughs> it get caught right into the sediment core and, and it actually got hoisted up. sediment records and study long climate series we try to go for a, what we call a piston core which is a, an old Swedish invention uh, from Börje Kullenberg and that is simply a pipe and in, in the pipe you have a, a piston and that um, when you, that pipe is lowered to the seafloor you have a trigger arm that releases so it fr falls freely and then this piston stops at the seafloor it prevents the whole compression of the sediment so the pipe can go down much easier and take very long records. So from Odin we can take up to 12 meter. And then we have gravity cores, which is very simpler. It's just a, a barrel or a pipe that you lower to the seafloor and then just let it go and uh, it takes the sediments. Inside these pipes we have what we call a liner. That's a plastic tube that capture the sediments. So we have some a container that is very controlled. So you get very nice sediment records. You do, you see all the layers, they get fairly undisturbed. And that's what we're after for the long-term climate series. Mm -hmm.